All right, keyboard players, this one is for you. Imagine how cool it would be if when your drummer triggers tracks, your presets in main stage automatically change, your ARPS delays are perfectly in sync every single time. Hey, I'm Will Doggett, Ableton Live certified trainer, founder of From Studio Stage. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can use Ableton Live to control main stage on another machine so you can have a perfect, flawless performance every single time. So let's get started. All right, so at the very beginning, we have to talk about how we connect our machines. So this is pretty simple. We've done a few videos on this. You can reference our uh, video on network mini settings and how to connect two machines um, to make this happen. But a couple ways we could do this. One, uh, if we have two audio interfaces, which we likely do on either machine, one for tracks, one for keys, uh, and if they have a five pin MIDI output, we could do a MIDI cable out of the tracks MIDI output of our interface plug the other end of the MIDI cable into the input of our keys uh, MIDI in on that interface. And that's gonna allow us to connect over five pin. Now, if you're not able to make that happen, it's super easy to do with one ethernet cable. Now we've done other videos where we go in depth. So again, I'm gonna move pretty quick on this one. Now I have both these machines connected to a network switch, uh, ethernet to network switch, ethernet to this machine, super easy setup. Gonna go into audio MIDI setup, double click network, and you can see this machine is from Studio Stage 2. There's my Bonjour name. And I want to connect it to from Studio Stage 1. So I'm going to hit connect. And then you'll see that machine connect over here. Now I've done the same thing on this machine. If I go to Audio Mini Setup, I have everything connected. I created a network. I made sure who may connect to me is set to anyone. Uh, and you can see uh, from Studio Stage 2 listed there. And we are connected. Network is enabled. And again, I've talked about this in previous videos. Make sure who may connect to me is set to anyone. Bonjour name is uh, is there for both machines. And in this case, it is. So now I can close the audio MIDI setup and I'm good to go. So let's talk about how to make our settings in Ableton Live. Then we'll head over to main stage. So I'm going to go to Live's Preferences, Command, Comma. I want to go to the MIDI tab. Now, in this situation, we're gonna deal only with sending MIDI out of Ableton Live and receiving MIDI in main stage. So here's what we wanna do. We wanna to go to the output tab um, of Ableton Live. We wanna enable tracks so that we can send MIDI from tracks in Ableton Live to network MIDI session. The other thing we wanna do here though is enable sync. And enabling sync is gonna send what's called MIDI clock. And that's gonna send our tempo information into main stage. This is super, super cool and super easy to do as a keyboard player to sync everything up. So with those two settings, we're good to go in Ableton Live. We'll need to make some track settings, but let's make a few settings in main stage, then we'll come back. So over in main stage, what I wanna do is click on the concert level here. So I wanna adjust settings for the entire concert. And in the concert settings, you see the MIDI tab is pulled up. I wanna to go to program changes and I need to choose what MIDI device I wanna receive program changes from. So you can see all the different MIDI devices connected on this machine. And I'm gonna choose session one network. Again, that's the MIDI network that's connecting these two machines. Uh, it's set to just be channel one to uh, 16 or Omni, any channel. That's perfectly fine uh, for this situation. So this is gonna allow me to send program changes from Ableton Live into main stage. But how do we sync tempo up? Super simple. We go to timing here, get tempo for MIDI input. I'm gonna enable that. And then again, I need to choose my device and I'm gonna go and select session one network. You'll see the tempo setting is grayed out. Um, that's gonna allow me to receive tempo uh, from this Ableton machine. And so let me show you how easy it is to do this. Over on Ableton, uh, I'm gonna create uh, a MIDI track here and just name it, let's call it main stage patches. Okay, and then I wanna to go to the MIDI two setting and under here, I'm gonna enable network session one. And what that means is all MIDI clips are gonna route their MIDI from that track to network session one, again, down into main stage. So let's double click to create a clip here. Okay, and then I wanna go um, down here where it says program change. And what I wanna do is just choose what preset that I wanna pull up in main stage. So I'm gonna to go to main stage. Let's do a piano and upright bass. So you can see in main stage, it's preset 13. So I'm gonna go here and go to program change and type 13 in. And then what I'm gonna do is press play. Now, if everything's working, as soon as I press play on Ableton, you should see preset 13 show up uh, as selected in main stage. So let's try it. There you go. So you see, as soon as that clip hits, preset 13 shows up. Let's go to preset five for the tone wheel organ. So let's go here, type five, same process. And you'll see the organ selects in main stage, super simple. Now. 
what if we want to go beyond this? This obviously is not great to, to have to create clips every single time. So that's why I created a, um, a set of cues, program change cues to use with main stage. So you can see I have all my cues listed here. Main stage, let's see how far we go up in this concert. So we go all the way to 51. So super easy to do. I can go down to main stage 51. This is patch 51. Drop this right in. And again, when I press play, it's gonna jump all the way to patch 51 automatically in main stage. Super, super cool. Now, if we use this practically in a set, I can drop those clips in, and as soon as I trigger different scenes, you're gonna see it go to different uh, presets in main stage. So let's drop just four of these in, okay? And if I trigger two, you'll see preset 33 shows up. Uh, let's go down and trigger four. What's that gonna jump us to 14 or 13? And you see 13 pull up in main stage. Finally, let's go back to 51, go up to the top. As soon as I trigger an Ableton, it's gonna send that cue and pull up preset 51. Super, super easy to do. Now let's talk about taking it one step further. So in arrangement view, what if we could program it to our presets changed automatically in main stage, no matter where we were uh, in the song. So let's drop some cues in here and we'll just try this out and see what happens. All right, so here's what our cues look like in Ableton. I'm gonna press play, and you'll see as the, the playhead moves across those, it's gonna trigger all those cues and pull them up automatically in main stage. Here we go. So Q1, coming up on four. Right, there's our cue in four. There's nine, five, and finally, six. So I'm a big fan of laying this out against your tracks in arrangement view so that as you play, your presets automatically change so that right when you put your hands on the keys, it's the exact sound you need at the exact moment. Now one final thing before we wrap up, what about tempo? So what if you're in a situation where you're playing in a band where the tempo could change at any moment? Let's say we're at 120 and we need to go to 95. I'm gonna hit 95 and press play. Now one thing you'll notice, let me go back to my concert settings and you'll look at timing, you'll see our tempo is now 94, 99. If I keep that playing, it should sync up. There we go, 95, right? As I change the tempo, let's go to 130. Press play, and let's go back to our concert, and you'll see timing is now adjusted to 130. So what's really cool about this is not only are my presets changing, my timing is perfectly in time, my tempo's changing. So if you have, um, again, presets in main stage that have delays, have arpeggiators, and you want those synced up perfectly with Ableton Live, you're one ethernet cable away from making that happen, which is super, super cool. Now, if you wanna get access to the main stage cues that I programmed here, or to learn more how to use Ableton Live and main stage together, make sure to head to fromstudiostage.com to start your free seven day trial, uh, to join the community, to get access to all our courses, to get access to the community of like-minded performers that are gonna help you learn to use Ableton Live on stage and then you also get access to our monthly call that's only for subscribers. So head there today, start your free trial. You're not going to regret it. And we'd love to have you be a part of the community. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.